Arch Cole, Inc. Cole is enjoying a bit of a renaissance. I have to admit, I am not a fan of the Cole stocks. But these guys have fixed their balance sheet. I just don't want to overstate because even utilities in this country aren't that interested in it. So I say don't buy. Visteon Corp. We spoke to Magna and it didn't leave me feeling so warm and fuzzy about this auto parts group. So I've got to tell you. As much as I hate to be part of the maddening crowd. I have to be careful. Transenteryx. Inc. I like intuitive surgical. Let the others come up to be intuitive surgical. You know. I did Mazor. We made some money. And now I don't want to try a new one because they're just too darn hard. I say stick with ISRG. Duke Energy Corp. I don't want to be in Duke right now. The one I want to be in is American Electric Power. I want to be in Coned. Those are the ones that have been best for me and I'm going to stick with those. And please be careful with Southern. Because the overage on this building of the Vogdal nuclear plants? No. Not for me. Greed.corp. I would describe it as being a financial tech play. Fintech. And therefore I like it even though I know it hit a 52-week high. The Sherwin-Williams company. You're going to take out the capital that you put in. Then you're going to play the rest with the house's money. Abvi. Inc. I like Abvi. I know there's a lot of bear stories running around. It's the other component of Abbott. Abbott's owned by the charitable trust. I think that it's good. I know they had one big drug that a lot of people are worried about from the biosimilar situation. I'm not as worried. I think Abvi's a buy. Buckeye Partners. LP. No. I mean, look. I've known Buckeye forever and you know I've soured on the pipeline group. Yeah, it's getting a little bit better. But I'm going to say there's just too much hit or miss in this group. Axon Enterprise. I think the stock went up and it was heavily shorted. Now it's come down a lot and I think, frankly, it's a buy. Aptio, Inc. They may be the vertical. They may be the cloud situation for benchmarking. And I've got to hand it to them and I'd like to have them on the show. Disclosure. Kramer's Charitable Trust owns shares of Abbott Laboratories. Questions for Kramer. Call Kramer. 1-800-743-CNBC Wanna take a deep dive into Kramer's world? Hit him up Mad Money Twitter, Jim Kramer Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, find questions, comments, suggestions for the Mad Money website, modcap at cnbc.com.